Today's art is inspired by Keith Haring. Keith Haring is known for colorful cartoon artworks and certain characters such as crawling babies, barking dogs, and spaceships. Haring was inspired by graffiti artists and pop art. Living in New York, he drew hundreds of drawings on the subway in chalk. He would get in trouble sometimes, but continued drawing anyway because he wanted everyone to experience art. Haring was also known to paint art with and for kids. He made many murals in many children's hospitals and schools. Eventually, his paintings and sculptures became very expensive. He wanted everyone to be able to buy his work, so he opened a new store called The Pop Shop to sell his art on posters, buttons, t-shirts, and games. In 1988, Herring became very sick with a disease called AIDS. Herring kept on drawing and made posters to raise awareness about the disease. Before he died, he set up the Keith Herring Foundation to fund AIDS research and help kids who are in need. To celebrate all his great works and service, we're creating a joyous Keith Herring dance scene, and here's what we'll need. Here is my regular 8.5 by 11 paper. First, use a thick black marker and ruler to draw in a border. This border creates that cartoon comic look that's in Herring's artwork. I'm just eyeballing the width of the border. You can always do this in pencil first and then outline in black marker. Within the border, create all your dancers for the dance party. Here are some examples of Keith Herring's dancers from his artwork. You can use any of these or make your own. To help me create these dancing characters, I first draw in my stick person with a pencil. I start with the limbs, then add in the round head. Then you want to outline the stick person to give it a thicker body shape. If you feel more comfortable drawing in the figures without the sticks, go ahead and do that. With this rough sketch, go in with a thick black marker to create the final outline of the dancer. Don't forget to add some motion lines around your figure. Then erase all the pencil lines. Now draw in the rest of the figures to the dance party. I'm also adding some other Keith Herring figures like the heart and the animals to join in my dance party. You can add anything you'd like. Once you have everything outlined in black, make sure to erase all the pencil marks and make it clean. Lastly, give it some color. I'm using crayons, but of course you can use other mediums like marker or paint. And that's it! I hope you liked this art lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!